What was his reaction? What was Jake's reaction when he found out that Tucker Carlson was putting out the surveillance video of his interactions with police? He's thrilled. He's really happy about that. Because again, it basically vindicates him. What he said that he had done was the very things that were being shown. Well, today I'm thrilled to be joined by Martha Chansley, the mother of Jacob Chansley, who was the face of January 6th. He was wearing those horns on his head and the media just ran with him as the face. He's now spent two years plus in jail. And last week, Tucker Carlson released never before seen footage of him inside the Capitol, just walking, strolling through the halls as police appeared to escort him through. Police were not trying to stop him at one point in the video Tucker released. They were trying to open a door for him. Uh, so what's your reaction, Martha, to what Tucker has now released about your son? Well, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. The truth, the truth that he had said right from the very beginning, that's exactly what he said as he went through open doors, he was escorted around, he was escorted through the Senate. So it's, um, it's vindicating. I'm happy about it. I think I, of course it should have come out two years ago. Right. Right. So, and he got, a lot of time in prison for for what he did, um, mm -hmm. which his official conviction was obstructing an official proceeding. Yes. Uh, he's uh, when I when I calculated, it looked like he was going to be out of prison summer of 2024. He had one of the longest sentences of anyone. Yet I haven't seen a bit of evidence of him committing any sort of violence. At his sentencing, the prosecution said his words were violent, though. Okay, what words? Well, they said they, they said he had written things on Facebook that we need to stand up against the deep state. A quick shout out to the sponsor of my coverage, Lower Carbs with Ivory. A new study warns that Americans are not getting nearly enough protein in their diets, and that could lead to frightening health consequences. An examination of 11,000 adults found that a shocking 46% of them did not consume enough protein. Age-related muscle loss can slash strength by up to 50%. Other signs are of not enough protein include increased body fat, poor energy levels, and constant cravings and more. This is why tens of thousands are turning to low-carb protein shake, accelerate fat loss, reduce unhealthy cravings, and help build calorie burning lean muscle and more with this quality protein blend. My favorite part is the premium taste. Think of a smooth, clean, creamy shake from an ice cream shop. That is the same experience you'll get with this product. Curb nasty cravings with low carb shakes before they are 51% off sale ends by going to lowercarbswithivory.com, lowercarbswithivory.com, link down in my description. If you're on your phone, hit that more button below the video and you will see the link, lowercarbswithivory.com. Okay, what words? Well, they said, they, they said he had written things on Facebook that we need to stand up against the deep state. Okay, like what? What are uh, their examples? Do you know? I mean, you don't I, have to tell me, but I yeah, mean, I don't, like, uh, you know, I don't think he was calling for an insurrection. Uh, as I recall, it was just, it was just about taking a stand against evil is what he was okay. writing on Facebook. So what happened to him to me seemed like a huge violation of the first amendment that they would throw him in prison for that long on the basis of words that were spoken on Facebook. Um, how is Jacob doing now that he's been in prison for two plus years? You know, considering he's been there for a little over two years, you know, his spirits are pretty good. He, you know, has managed his time well and has done a good job of keeping busy, remaining optimistic and, um, you know, because because of his 
because of his shamanic background and his discipline and his shamanism, that's really, that's really been very helpful in helping him to get through this. It's been difficult. Don't, don't get me wrong by any, by any means that it's been hard. A lot of it has been solitary confinement, right? Yeah. About a year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So shamanism, that's a Native American spiritual practice, right? Yes. For people who don't know. that's So his garb on that day, January 6th, as I recall, he had said what he was actually wearing. People said he was dressed like a Viking with the horns, but he was actually trying, he was dressing as a shaman in an effort to spread peace. At one point, he had lit yes. sage. He so had done what? I'm sorry, what? He lit sage. A lit sage. Yeah. Which is um, typically what spiritual people do to try to spread peace, in, in my experience. Just rid of negative energy. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a lot of people, uh, a lot of people on the right aren't sure how to categorize him. <laughs> They're still wondering, you know, his acting profile got spread around. Uh, some people are still oh. wondering if he was an actor hired by the left. No. <laughs> no. I saw a podcast where he explained that he wanted to get into acting several years ago. A lot of people want to be an actor at some point, right? And that, yeah. that profile was still up, I guess. What were his political views then and now and his views of Trump? And Biden? Well, just as they, they, he's always been supportive of Trump, you know, and he's not a supporter of Biden because one is good and one is evil. We all know Trump is the good one, right? So, you know, if anybody's going to say anything about them and, and, and they, it would have to be Jake's words about what he thinks of them. Uh, uh, but I do know that he, you know, is still a fan of Trump. You know, he, tr he believes Trump has done a magnificent job as far as what he did for our country. You know, it's always disappointing, um, you know, when, you know, he had asked for a pardon in the very, very, very beginning. You know, it can't hurt to ask, right? The worst answer you can get is no. So, um, the fact that he never got a pardon from Trump. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't hold on to any grudges or anything like that. You know. Now his attorney Albert Watkins, at one point, went on CNN and issued an apology. He says that Jake wrote that basically criticized Trump and. Jake distancing from Trump. Your client has something he wants to say. Yeah, I, I shared with you verbatim the statement that was prepared by my client, dictated to me by my client. I am deeply disappointed in former President Trump. He was not honorable. I was told by one of Jake's good friends, Jake, Jake never wrote that. What, nope. What's your take on... Albert Watkins, the the original attorney who got Jake to do the plea deal to, to plead guilty in the first place. What is my my thought on Al Watkins? Uh, I have a lot of thoughts about Al Watkins. You know in a lot of ways, he really screwed Jake over. But it it's, you know, what are you going to do now? Okay, it's, it's done. It's said and it's done. He said foolish things. He really did. He said stupid stuff. He said things that Jake never said. And Jake will have a chance to, to talk to, uh, to you and and others that uh, about this about what happened and what he said and what he didn't say because he didn't say the negative stuff. That was not Jake. 
So you why, have why Al said that stuff? Other than it for his own agenda. You guys eventually got rid of Al Watkins. The fact that Jake's case never went to trial means that some of this video, some of that surveillance video that Tucker Carlson just released, uh, the video of him in a car actually calling FBI himself because he had nothing to hide. He said, FBI, are you looking for me? Here I am. You know, ask me anything. None of that video got to be played in trial, which I think would have made a difference in his case. There's a lot of things, Ivory, that would have made a difference. A lot of things. And there's going to be things that are going to be brought up um, that Al, you know, he he stepped he stepped in a lot of crap on his own. You know? Um, well, and, and, how to what, and how he represented Jake. He just personally, I don't think he did a great job at all. But, you know, well, he seemed to hate the, the people he was representing. He was calling Trump supporters short bus riders and the R word. Counselor, the Special Olympics says the R word is a form of hate speech and that the word has become an insult used all too commonly in everyday language. Would you like to apologize this morning? No. You guys eventually got rid of Al Watkins. You you uh you guys brought on William Shipley, as I recall. So you and Mr. Shipley went on Tucker Carlson's show just the other day and talked about the struggle now be, to get Jake justice now that he did that that plea deal with the help of Al Watkins, because the plea deal prevents him from doing any appeals. He can't go to a court of appeals now. Right. So they're um, the new attorney is kind of struggling with what to do next in hopes of getting Jake some get justice, maybe getting him out early. Do you think there's a chance of that? Let's cross our fingers. Right. 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 And, and now when I talked on the phone with you just the other day, you brought up some of the other January 6th prisoners, too, because your son has had, you know, a little bit more spotlight shown on him. But how are some of the other prisoners doing that are? not being covered. This is my understanding and from what I've and from what I've read on um, um, in the communication with some of the family members and things like that on telegram. And these people, God love them. You know, there's suffering going on there. There is suffering going on there. There's abuse on all kinds of levels. And these people haven't had even their day in court. So this is another reason why I think it's really, really cool. And I think it's important that this information is coming out. Uh, even of course, for Jake, I'm, th I'm thrilled. I, I I'm thrilled. Okay. Uh, it just further illustrates that Jacob was telling the truth. Okay. Despite the fact that he can't do an appeal, but back to the other prisoners you know, maybe it'll help them. I'm sure it'll help them. That stuff needs to be brought out into the open. All of it. You know, it just does. We've got to get these people. We, when I say we, uh, what can I do about it? You know, I mean, there is there, there is the January, the January 6th, fund um hold on let me i want to make sure i'm saying it correctly uh it's the january 6th defense fund okay the january 6th defense fund goes to um help those people that are being helped by those attorneys and, and it helps to fund the attorneys so some of those attorneys are represented you know, they represent the people that are in D.C. So that's one way that we can support them. The other is to get word out and say, let's bring more awareness to it, which I think a lot of people have. I think their family members have. You, did you see that video of them singing? They sing every night. Oh, the national, I didn't see that. Yeah, they sing every night the, the, our national anthem. It's gotten them in a lot of trouble. 
Singing in jail. Yeah. Wow. Singing, singing the national anthem. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Yes. It's my understanding uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene went, went through. And, you know, when she finally got to that section where they are, they some of them wept. They felt like they had been forgotten because where's the justice? Where is the justice? Those people are being held, some of them for parading, parading, or just right. being near the building. Walking through with a flag. Yeah, come on. I mean, it's not to say that there probably aren't a couple in there that probably really did something uh, more than that, but ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous, right? right. right? right. So, again, awareness. Awareness is everything. And um, again, if you're interested in knowing, I think you could probably go on the J6 Defense Fund website and probably find some information on that. Yeah, I just brought it up. January 6, defensefund.org. January, the number six, defensefund.org. Uh, yeah. I see the list of, of prisoners on there. Thanks for bringing yes. that up. Yes. Uh, yeah, your son's story was quite stunning and caused me to dig into your son's story last year. Was it over a year ago now? Uh, yeah. When I realized, when I came across the fact that social media platforms like Instagram had an algorithm in place to delete videos as soon as they were uploaded, videos that actually showed what your son was doing, mm -hmm. the peaceful things. Mm -hmm. there, there was one shot of him calling for peace inside the Capitol, standing next to officers shouting, we must remain peaceful. There's an algorithm in place that as soon as you upload that clip, it gets deleted by Instagram. So creepy and evil that Instagram wouldn't want the truth out. Yeah. And so that caused me to dig further and say, okay, if he is being stood up as the face of J6, he must've done something violent. Couldn't find anything, covered his whole story, went to Arizona, mm -hmm. interviewed you, and got the truth out on Rumble with, uh, you know, we're, the views on that Rumble video going towards a million now. But in the interview, you you did want to address something. The interview with you about your son in that Rumble video I did, which, by the way, link all this down below. YouTube, oh. does, YouTube doesn't allow it, but you can see it at my link down below. You said, God bless Al Watkins. God bless Al. Because we need it. Jake's we attorney. Jake's attorney. Do you, at, at that point in fall of 2021, you were sending blessings to the lawyer for Jake. You wanted to clarify that because now you you don't think much of him. Oh, well, even then, the, the context is, is that why was I grateful for him? And the reason why I even said that was because at the time when this all happened, he he ended up getting in contact with me and asked if he could help us. So that's why I was grateful for Al. And that's why I said that in the interview was because I was grateful for him at that point is what I'm remembering. Um, and now you're, you're, it sounds like you're grateful to have gotten rid of him and well, you know, there's, I'm sure there's going to be a book written about the whole thing. And, and you know, there's uh, sometimes when having conversations with him and I'd be, you know, I'd have questions and then he'd answer the questions and I would kind of feel like they got answered, but you know, he was really good about making you feel like you had the, you got, you know, the right answer or whatever it was, yeah. or, you know, but when you got off the phone, you're like, you know, what just happened? Wow. And then, and then he'd say stuff, he'd say stuff like short bus kind of things uh, or things that he said, Jake said about Trump, little things like that, but they're big things. Right. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, 
it seems to me he was trying to become uh. buddy buddy with CNN and grab a lot of cash from his clients while becoming a CNN attorney and then bail while your son sits in jail. Well, and it certainly would be, it would be certainly easy to say all that for sure. Uh, you know, he has to live with himself. He has to live with the wrong doings that he did to Jake. In his mind, he doesn't think that he did anything wrong in his mind. Wow. Okay? Uh, yeah, I know, but he doesn't think he did anything wrong. So how often do you talk to Jake? I talked to him today. Awesome. And uh, try, hopefully, every, you know, we try to talk every day as much as we can. What was his reaction? What was Jake's reaction when he found out that Tucker Carlson was putting out the surveillance video of his interactions with police? He's thrilled. He's really happy about that. Because, again, it basically vindicates him that what he said that he had done was the very things that were being shown. So if you look at the very first part of that video, you can see him, you see the people, there's people that broke open the windows and then the doors were open somehow. I don't, I'll have to look at it again and how they got opened. Um, but you can see Jacob was kind of almost pushed through a little bit. He was walking, but he was being kind of pushed a little. You can see him. He went through the open doors is my point. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't right. break anything like you said. Um, so again, it's, you know, and, and again, it's vindication. It's just, uh, thank God people know that I was telling the truth. Right. Because he's, he's already been sentenced. You know, he already pled guilty to, and that's why he's, and you know what I mean? So was it a raw deal? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a bad deal. I thought Al could have done a way better job. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, he pled guilty when in, at his sentencing. He said, uh, I pled guilty because I'm a man and men, men tell the truth. And I did indeed enter the Capitol. You know, and when I wasn't supposed to, so. So that's the thing that it's not that he's pleading guilty to like the felony so much as that I, he's taking responsibility for going in the building. Right. Yeah. That's what he's, that's what he's saying. I'm taking, he's saying, I'm taking responsibility. You're right. I went through the doors, the open doors. Right. Without, without the, without permission. And that's what has landed in 41, 42 months sentence. Long sentence for trespass. I know. Right. And then a year of that, just about a year of that in solitary. Horrible. Because the image was portrayed of him, you know, and the narrative was what, what did the media do and how did they portray him? Right. As it the ringleader, uh, yeah, uh, like right? we gotta, we gotta make an example of him, right? Uh, he was the ringleader. If he's not punished hard, there'll be copy copycats. I think that's uh, what happened with him. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I always, I always have felt that the truth, the truth will prevail. Just like, just like Jake said, God wins. You know. That's the sign he held. Yes. Hold the line, Patriots. God wins. And because he, he knew that he was telling the truth, it would have been great to have all that other film come out. But that's not what occurred. And those that are responsible for, not, for it not coming out should be held responsible. But, right. you know, what it's... It's kind of a crazy situation. Right. Uh, emails have begun to come out showing Instagram's collaboration with the White House. I really want to know if the White House ordered Instagram to hide 
key videos of your son calling for peace. What an atrocity. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. It is. But you know what? If, and unfortunately, unfortunately, Jake is a victim of their, their demise, right? And what it, their agenda. Of the First Amendment's to demise, it's real, real sad. It's awful. A lot of people, a lot, the, uh, there's so many, there's so many. Those, the other J6ers too, you know, it's got to be stopped. We've got to, you know, I pray, I always pray, thank you, God, for giving our, the leaders the courage to do what they, they know is right. You know, right. Because they're, they're, they're probably backed into some, some corners themselves because the, the really good ones are part of the minority. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, right now. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, to end on a, like kind of a good, good, happy note. Um, Jacob is doing well and he's managed to not become bitter through this good. whole thing is that's amazing. He could be really, really bitter. You know, he taught uh, three metaphysics courses when he was uh, in in Safford. When he was where? In jail? In, in the Safford prison. Oh, he's teaching metaphysics in jail. Three courses. Wow. I know. Isn't that amazing? In one year, he taught three. <laughs> well, good. I'm, I'm glad that. He's able to, you know, do yeah. something productive in there. Well, and he's helping, he's helping inmates. He's, he's, uh, he's worked this entire time that he's been there. So he's being who he is an authentic, uh, wonderful human being. Well, good. I yeah. am glad to hear that. Well, I wish you and him the best. Um, yeah. Everyone. Viewers can go to Jan January 6th defensefund.org to learn more about the other prisoners and donate. Thank you so much, Martha. And one more side note, if I may. Sure. If if somebody wanted to donate directly to Jacob, they could go to give, send, go, free Jake. Give, free Jake. Send, yeah, give, send, go, free Jake. Perfect. If they want to give to him directly. It's up to them. Whatever, whatever they want to do, we appreciate prayers too. And thank you again, Ivory. And thanks for everybody's uh, love and support. Thanks, Martha. Okay. Thank talk you. To you later. See Bye. you.